Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, we are back once again in the world of Old World Blues because I put out a post on my community page, and this is what was voted for. Now, that being said, we did not make a poll in order to determine what nation we were going to play, but I figured that I've been in the West twice now at this point, we need to go to a different region. And among all of these, there has got to be a very fun and spicy one that I have found here, right in Mexico, baby. Look at all of these fascinating characters. You have all different kinds of bandits, you have more democratic forces, you have some fun looking AI, and then you got some goddamn luchadors. The moment I saw this as I was perusing around to look at what nation I was going to play, I had to do it. I had to do it. The Free Fighters. Surrounded by cartels on all sides, hounded by drug pushers and pimps with mercenary armies, the Free Fighters have maintained their liberty by force. Luchadors of all shapes and sizes create and don unique masks, fighting with brass knuckles and shotgun gauntlets against anyone and everyone. A pantheon of famous pre-war luchadors forms the core of their identity, enabling them to determine their own qualities through the luchadors that they revere at any one given time. They are known to play both face and heel, good guy and bad guy. I just, I love this. I love the idea. It is a, not a cartel. It's like an elite group of luchadors, each one espousing a different kind of idea. Whether absolutism, whether democratic or oligarchic or whatever the hell you want to put it, surrounded by drug dealers all around them that want to take them down. That is hilarious. And so the theme here, we've covered the West quite a number of times now, but in Mexico, Mexico broke apart and naturally had to deal with a lot of cartels after the apocalypse. And this guy, La Locan, this is, this is not actually a person. This is an AI. This is an entity like a massive supercomputer from pre-war, so before the apocalypse, that protects protects people and humanity within Mexico. With the unfortunate thing being that the machine is falling apart and we don't know what's going to come out of it. It could be one of many different personalities that that will determine its actions. That would be very interesting to see. I don't know. I've turned off historical focus, so we'll see what happens. And yeah, we're going to jump into this world with a mad computer god as a trio of luchadors and we're going to fight for what we want. I don't even know what we want yet. Let's get into it. You all know the drill by now. I'm interrupting the video to tell you to like the video. If this video can get 6,000 likes in the first couple days, then I will go ahead and do another Old World Blues episode and simultaneously we'll put out a poll so you can vote on what is going to be next. Also, go to the description and join Discord because I play with my server members every single week. But besides that, enjoy the video. All right, here we are once again in the world of Fallout. My God, I, I love this flag. <laughs> it's literally just the Mexican flag with the luchador mask on it. This is beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh, even the belt. The belt is nuclear radiation. <laughs> Wait, what's this military policy? Tlacoc stagnation? Ah, since Tlacoc has actually protected the entirety of Mexico, that means that a whole bunch of the people who are not bandits have become complacent and are not actually building up their stuff for their military. That's interesting. All right, first things first, we're gonna need to go ahead and get ahead here. Stuff for research, agriculture. We are behind on that. That doesn't matter. Woodworking and work assignments. All right, get all that going here. Get our production up. Military factories. We actually ooh, have a decent military industry from the start. What about construction? We have, wow. We have nothing in the way of construction. All of our guns. Damn it. We really are military minded. All right. We have nine military factories from the beginning. So because we have a thriving military industry, we go over here now, our construction, we have no ability to produce anything. We can't build anything because it's all focused on the military because of our consumer goods. Okay. This is just absolutely lovely. And look, look at this. Look at our guys, they're shirtless and they're wearing luchador masks. This is beautiful. My God, this is just hilarious. All right, focus tree wise, what do we got? What do we got? Um, So we can't do any of these yet. We got to start from the top. The hero of Los Mochis. The lore of all this is that the original progenitor of society, I guess, is just the mysterious white mask. This plays out like some amazing drama. I'd love to see this actually play out. The last luchador, 30 years after the end of the world, a small tribal community is terrorized and enslaved by local bandidos. However, the situation changes when a lone figure in a white mask wanders in the town and dares to challenge the banditos. Despite all odds, the figure drives them off, only to succumb to his wounds in the aftermath of the battle. His sacrifice would inspire generations of tribals to take up the mask and fight their oppressors with his dying words carrying them into a future. Memories of justice, shelter for the weak. Uh, no, no, no. If you want to give me a 5% defense bonus for everything, I'm definitely taking that versus just some construction. I can't build anything anyway. The Bastard of Guamuchel. But then we had our own internal 
internal division because over a century later, El Santo would return. But despite years of oppression and brutality under the cartels, the saint's arrival would go on to inspire a tribal uprising. And some people would sh adopt the other mask, that of the demon. Demonio Azul, the blue demon cult. What the fuck? A villain for every tale in honor 2. No, no. 5% attack bonus. Definitely. Next, a monster with 100 masks. The arrival of the Great Wanderer broke the uneasy status quo for this great foe was greater than any who'd come to threaten them before. Easily defeating several chiefs in single combat, the monster claimed the masks of his defeated foes, establishing himself as the new leader of the tribes. To all who inquired, he made his goals clear. He sought to form an army with which to defeat the Legion of the Far North and would challenge the rule of both El Santo and the Blue Demon to do so. Now, new homeland, 5% recruitable population. Now it is time for the tag team of the century. I'm loving this luchador stuff. Oh my God, the tag team of the century. It's even got a wrestling match. <laughs> the last match for leadership of the Free Fighters ended with no clear winner, and yet it remains the greatest match the Federation has ever seen. Just as El Santo is about to win, the green giant emerges from the crowd. Mil Mascaras. And so out of this, what was formed was a new fellowship. Las Tres Mascaras would rule the Federation as equals until they faced each other in the ring again. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, what is this? Match one, choose your fight. Oh, that was the Lucha event. What? What? I guess we have to decide from the beginning who it is we want to support. I like that there's like three different ones we could reasonably support. Listen, we have to honor the original. El Santo will lead the match. We got to do it. Wait a minute. I just realized I have a trait called Wrestle Mongers, not Warmonger. Wrestle Monger. So I can send more volunteers to people. I fight on the side of justice, boy. Suplexing Legionnaires, choke slamming Yakuza, or just RKOing Graven's boys. Nobody fights without the Lucha. The Unbowed, not all the loser tribes have accepted the rule of Las Tres Mosqueras. Three groups yet remain who will need to unite under a banner. Las Medicinas, the Shadow Walkers, and the Two-Faced Warriors. Each of these tribes will need to be convinced to work with us one way or another. I love how it's literally just tribes of luchadores. That is amazing. All right, first things first, we need to get rid of the stability issues. Uh, approach the Shadow Walkers. Let's go ahead and do it. I should have done it smarter and not chosen the other one, so I was also not losing uh, war support. I should have gone down here to do Shadow Brothers immediately. This is so cool. I'm geeking out over this because it's just so cool. Wait, the anniversary of American occupation. Oh, right, right, right. Because when all this was going down, America went and occupied Mexico. Right, that was part of the fallout lore. Oh God, it's time for another legendary match. Okay, let's see. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> I love that. I love that little thing in here. All right, round one. The bell is rung and the first round begins. All three fighters are keen to gain an early upper hand and they circle the center of the ring, waiting for the first blow to be struck. El Santo sees an opportunity and striking first. Shit, I don't even know what is gonna happen at this point. I just have to select something, I guess. Okay, we go for the attack. Furious blows. Oh, so it kind of worked. We went after Demonia Azul. He countered us, but Mil Mascaras tried to take advantage and lost. All right, press the advantage. Attack, just keep on going. And literally the exact same thing happens. Mil Mascaras is just getting screwed. So we have to pull out one final move. The Sinaloa Smash, the Aslan Curtain, or the Infinite Fist Works. All for one, the Sinaloa Smash. Oh no, the game couldn't handle the Sinaloa Smash. It crashed. All right, let's try and reload this in again and see what happens. I'm just going to do the same thing. Sinaloa smash. Can we do it? Does it work? It crashes. I literally can't do the Sinaloa smash move. Okay, it finally works. Nothing happens, but we have an option. Do we have Demonio Azul take the lead or do we say that no one won the match? I want to run with El Santo, so we're just going to say no one won. It's fine. Yeah, while the match was awesome to watch, simultaneously our nation's leadership remains unresolved. This is how you determine a government, everyone. We're basically Wakanda in Mexico. Very not, a, not an efficient form of government government at all, actually. Oh boy, time for the second match. All right, let's do this. El Santo again. Come on. Oh my God. Is it another, another one? Are you kidding me? Okay. Triarchy returns. Fine. What the fuck, man? All right. Match three. I had no idea. So hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I've been going through all these matches because I didn't, I didn't know that there was a Lucha Rumble system where I actually have to trade. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Hey, what's this? The hostile takeover of Petro Chico. Ooh, ooh, it looks like we got some violence going on down here in Mexico. Another bloodbath in Mexico. What's new? My God, game. You, you know how to, you know how to predict it. The twins and the giant. Two heads are better than one for a double power dropper. Oh man. We, this just gives us more divisions. I love this. It's like we're fighting everyone. We're uniting the wastelands and we're just uniting them to this one giant wrestler federation. Oh, that's amazing. All right, well, let's approach the Medicinas then and get that done. All right, now after all that training, now it's time to fight. Let's go for an attack, baby. We are, we are ready. Let's do it. Oh, and finally, finally, El Santo takes the lead. I really wish that I figured out that system earlier. That probably would have made things way easier for me. El Santo has won the match and takes 
temporary leadership of the Federation until the next rump. Wait, until the next rumble. So wait, 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 wait. So he's the leader, but the others could still take over in a wrestling match. God damn this political system. Wait, it's happening again already? Okay, El Santo, come on, come on, come on. You gotta take charge. You got, you gotta do this, man. Come on. Ah, uh, finally, by upgrading our economy, we now have a single civilian factory to work with. That's lovely. We can dedicate that civilian factory towards funding our charity smackdown because we take care of things in the wasteland. The charity smackdown battle of the paragons. Can you smell what the dock is cooking? Now to build our country, what are our priorities? Well, we gotta rebuild the arena, folks. It's the only option for us if we want to get this country together. Economy, factories, who the hell needs it? We want to wrestle. It's just so stupid, but I love it. All right, rebuild the arena, done. Now it is time for the great rematch. There will be no tie. The stakes are set. The fighters are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. Also thing I find most hilarious is chems are banned. The luchadors, we don't want any drug stimulants to make sure that all the fighting is fair, you know. The great rematch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. New Vegas with a special radio broadcast for you tonight. Coming live from the Los Mochis ring comes the greatest wrestling match of the apocalypse. Holy shit. This is hilarious. They're typing out the entire fight of how it goes. The blue demon reveals his secret weapon. He enters the fray holding a Roboco titanium folding chair and begins to wail on Mascara. All right, so we have an elimination. Uh, Mil Mascaras is eliminated. Once again, the demon and the saint have managed to work together to defeat Mil Mascaras, but this time around, there would be no truce. Circling each other, folding chair in one corner, fists of righteousness and the other. The battle is long and dirty. That's what she said. There can only be one winner and it's El Santo. That's what we were going with this entire time. I, I, I think this is hilarious to do another type of it in the future, but this, this is just great. El Santo wins, which means he is the champion of the people. Yeah, buddies. El Santo is triumphant. After years of contested leadership, El Santo has emerged as the final Lucha Rumble as the uncontested ruler of the free fighters. The Saints cult becomes the official ruling party. Max stability, max everything. We, we, are, we are doing great. In fact, now military high command, the the free fighters have such powerful abilities. You're able to get people like great. That is just for all divisions, plus 5% attack and defense. All right, awesome. I could get in another thing that is division attack plus 10%. Yes, I'll take more damage to my garrisons, but also another one that is unit upkeep minus 10% and experienced soldier losses minus 20%, minus 45% because the 25% we have here, minus 45% reduction on experience loss. And that's with no medical people whatsoever. We just get veterans. Holy shit. <laughs> In this case, we'll definitely go for the attack though because we have Las Tres Mosqueras, so that's plus 5% attack and defense, plus another 5% attack and defense, plus another 10% attack, and that is plus 20% attack. Holy shit. Plus this, plus 5% breakthrough and speed? Holy crap. Holy shit, no, we get even more powerful. Rage against the tyrants, an additional 5% attack and 5% defense. That's plus 25. Are you kidding me? Bro, we are going to be stacked. And now a message to the people. Freedom cannot be contained by any nation. It is a flame that must be brought to every man and woman who can hold the fire within them. El Santo shall spread this message far and wide and the tyrants will tremble. I, I think we're going to eliminate drug dealers. I'm for this. I'm definitely for this. All right, that is message to the people. Time for the great federation. It's not through conquest, but cooperation that lasting peace will be brought to the wasteland. Let all those who love freedom and are partial to a good wrestling match make common cause together in our great new federation. All right, I think that gave us other things that I could do. Stoking the fire, rise up. What is this? Arm? Wait, I can arm people? Oh my God, I can arm all the different luchadors inside of Caesar's Legion? <laughs> oh my God. That should be interesting. Whoa, I'm just now going ahead and looking at this. So we're, we're not a robotics focus. We are a tribe. Like we're a tribe of luchadors. So we have the tribal focus tree. This is bad, but cool. Every single thing we do in here hurts our research speed, but makes our troops so much stronger. What the fuck? Increases our defense, increases our attack, increases is our heart attack, recovery, but every single one hurts our research speed by 2%. That is both really strong and also really bad at the same time. All right, there's the Great Federation, and now... Oh, we can't do by fists alone, which <laughs> this looks so cool. But well, we can't do any of this yet until we apparently eliminate Caesar's Legion. So now let's see, where do we expand to? What do we do? War of the Mask. The Free Fighters owe their existence to the cartels. It is their evil ways that brought us together to fight back. Let's go ahead and do this one because it looks like we're going to start getting claims on different stuff for cartels here if we go after them. You hear that, kitty cat? Are you ready to lucha? Wait, what is... Oh, 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 this is a faction. I can now create this. Okay, so invite the cowboy country. Will that work? Will, that, will they join? They did. 
We're we're in the Free Federation Alliance, brother. Grant C. Hayes elected president of the NCR. All right, lovely. Good, good, good. I, I don't know. I don't care. They didn't determine the election by fighting, so really, it's not within my interest. Next up on here, to kill a bandit, grants the Free Fighters claims to wargle on the Beltran Levia cartel's core territories. Okay, that's these guys. All right. So I guess this is where we prepare for some fun. Which are, what are they? Are those, are those ghouls? Are these ghouls? Oh my God, they are ghoul bandits. Oh my God. That looks so cool. Luchador versus ghoul. Who breaks first? Wait a minute. I'm just, I'm realizing here. I'm tribal. I don't have, oh my God, no. I don't have anything to actually research stuff higher because I'm tribal. I'm technologically backwards. Shit. Shit. Well, I guess past a certain point, we're not need, gonna need to worry about researching anything because it won't matter for us. Go, go my Luchador brothers who are pulling out guns in, in, instead of their fists. Okay, this makes sense. And there goes Beltran Levia. Fantastic. Okay, they're wiped out. They join the Free Federation, whether they want to be free or not. Hint, hint, they probably don't, but I don't care. All right, we take in refugees and probably throw them into the ring because that's probably what I'm looking for in terms of entertainment, to be honest. Next step, the last rumble. The Sinaloa Cartel will be destroyed. In the right corner, the 200-year uncontested champions of misery, the opioid overlords themselves, the Sinaloa Cartel. And in the left corner, weighing in with a people filled with the power of righteousness and freedom, are armed to the teeth and ready to kick in some crusty ghoul culo. <laughs> the free fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, ghouls and robo brains, let's get ready to rumble. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. This is so much fun. There we go. Let's just play it smart. Eliminate a couple of these at a time. And if we focus on wiping him out, then that means that we'll be able to take him out significantly more easily. There we go. There's more surrounded, more destroyed. Wipe him out, wipe him out. Filthy bandit ghouls. Your days of destruction and villainy are over. I feel like over the course of this video, I'm becoming a mix between Hulk Hogan and the Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we are playing this so much smart. Wait, what is this? Cowboy Country. How is Cowboy Country already half fallen? Oh, oh, shit. Caesar's Legion declared. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm so glad I did not accept their call to arms. That is very fucking dangerous. Meantime, let's uh, let's start arming all those different groups within, <laughs> within Caesar's Legion. Uh, we're going to need to consolidate and build up a lot quicker than I anticipated. And there goes the cartel. Nice and fallen. We go ahead and claim everything there. And uh, yeah, now we are right up here against Caesar's Legion and they are significantly bigger than I, I, I would hope to deal with. Like, not gonna lie. Th this is this is straight up terrifying here right now. Second battle for Hoover Dam. Oh, oh, oh they're, they're going for it again. They're going for it. Are they at war? Are they at war? <gasps> they're attacking the Mojave territories. Okay, 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 okay. This could be good. Oh, 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 oh. If they are fully at war, if they are fully at war, that means they're gonna be distracted. That means I could attack from the other side. Oh, buddy. That means it is time to stand against the bull. Let's do it, baby. Ooh, Caesar's Legion is actually making some ground over here. Okay, they're not able to get through Hoover Dam, but this is, should hopefully drain them, I think. Whoa, what is this? Protector's guarantee has been removed because it no longer applies. Zapata fract. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This had to happen now? Thalcock's demise. No. Neighboring countries used to the passive watch of Thalcock now have to contend with the highly militant and aggressive heir who is keen to get back where he left off in the first revolution. Uh-oh. Bro, I hope to God this actually works. I, I really do. I really really do. Here we go. Liberate time. Now that we've done that, time to rise up. Stoke the fire. Seven days. Oh, start a brutal attack across the river. Okay. They've called the reservation. All right. All right. We're holding out pretty war well here. We're holding out pretty well. Right. They got to attack across the river. That is going to bleed them of a lot of manpower, I'm sure. Here we go. Let them go. Let them bleed. Let them attack. Here we go. Perfect. We've lost 30 dudes. We've killed. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. No, we haven't killed that much. We've killed 427 of them, but they've lost 6K already. Oh my God. They have a big army. <laughs> Oh, uh, glad we timed this with the NCR. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. The rebels. The rebels are. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I thought they would be able to do a lot more. I thought they would be able to do a lot more. The rebels didn't work. The rebels did not work. I repeat. The rebels did not work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, well, I got to say our losses look pretty bad, but I realized that the reason why the losses are so bad is because all of those units that we spawned here in the desert died. Of 18 divisions, there's only four left. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna happen. But hey, at least that gives us some war participation from losses. It's like the old Soviet strategy, you know? The Comet of Righteousness. The speed of El Santo is unmatchable, and when he launches his Tope de Cristo on an unsuspecting legionnaire, it's like God 
himself grants him wings. This is just beautiful. We got we got to try to fight across the river. Come on, come on, come on. We can hold them at the river. Let them throw themselves against me. That's perfectly fine, but we will break through on this side at least. There we go. Wipe them out. Come on, come on. There we go. Drive them back, drive them back. We took it, we took it. We're participating, boys. Oh, do they not have the equipment to, to, to supply their troops anymore? Honestly, they're just still over here trying to deal with the NCR, and that is causing them to waste all of their ammunition. If they have any territory that is occupied right now, the resistance on that is just going to keep on growing and get worse. All right, just break through, just break through, try to take even more of the land. The more their troops we can surround, the better, because that just means wiping more out. All right, all right, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. Keep on going. Oh my, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Mexicans get specific conscription laws. I didn't even look at this. You can get Gloria Mexicana or Gloria Mexicana plus an additional 7.5% attack and defense. Oh, you know it, you know it. Plus 12% recruitment. Buddy, buddy, you know I'm doing it. I'm getting even more bonuses here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, hand to the soul. Oh no, 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 no. We need to get some troops out there to defend our borders fast. Even more trapped, even more trapped. Big pockets, big pockets. Just connect it all, connect it all. Oh God, the Mormons are getting everything burned. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, I feel bad because I just played as them last time. Oh shit, 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 shit. They actually made it through. They actually made it through. No, 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 no. We're actually under threat here now. All right, quick, spawn them in, spawn them in, spawn all of our armies. Hopefully this will hold. And we got to promote another luchador to the fight. Oh, here you go, Tiger Mask. All right, quick, 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 quick. Send our troops down, send our troops down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, wait, we outnumber them by like a lot. Hold on, what are we at now? Caesar's Legion has only 99. We have more, don't we? We have more divisions. All right, fuck it, we balling, let's go. Let's go. Come on, buddies, go for the kills, go for the kills. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? A civil war, a civil war. Is Caesar dead? Caesar is dead. Caesar died, which means that they break out into a civil war and oh my God. God. Oh my God, that caused all of their units to disappear. We're not at war with the sons of Caesars, only the Legion of Hades or whatever the hell this is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That means go, 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 go. Push, push, attack my pretties. Legion of Hades capitulates to us. Yes. Who am I still at war with? How am I still at war with all of these? This is so fucking confusing. All right, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. We're gonna organize it like this. We're gonna assign these here. So you know what, fuck it, we're going over here. We're gonna take out the two sons first. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna build a defensive line. Let this civil war break out. Let them break themselves apart. That's perfectly fine. I cannot control any of this territory, so I'm not even gonna try. Just let the civil war fight it out. In the meantime, fight. Just push, just push, just go. Whoa, wait, what is this? Tucson, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tucson is no longer my enemy? They're no longer, why are they no longer my enemy? What, who, what, who the fuck am I fighting? I thought I was fighting Tucson. Okay, well, that was, that was pointless. We're no longer at war there. Uh, I guess we go after Lanius's cohort and circle around to attack the reservation then. This is so fucking confusing. But then again, I guess every civil war is like that. All right, reform the lines, get this going. Lanius, iron. I really, really hate all of these little pockets that are appearing everywhere. It's so hard to control anything. Listen, we're gonna win. It's not like we're sacrificing 20% of her entire population to the armed forces or anything. Oh, go my luchador brethren. Beat the legionnaires, but you're getting super lex tonight, boys. Wait, why did I just become Richard Nixon again? God damn it. The free fighters take all once again, brother. And unfortunately, they create some of the ugliest fucking borders we've ever seen. Seriously though, this thing looks absolutely awful. And that's, that's it. Wait, is that, is that the end? Are we focused? Can, can I, can I do the last thing by fist alone? Sons of Caesar does not exist. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, hold on. Do I have to go after them now? It's not over yet. Can I just declare? No, I have to justify a war goal. All right, 50 days. Fine. Fine. Just know that you asked for this brother, not me. Flowers of war. Wait, what, what is going down here in Mexico? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh God. Oh God. They've been tearing each other apart. Everyone is at war with everyone else down here. Even more war. Even more. Jew people calm down. Patio Mexico. Another, another thing broke apart. What the fuck? Oh God. Oh God. It's even messier. Full of flax. Oh, sons of Caesar are falling. Can I, can I, can I declare on them yet? No. Wait, wasn't I just, I, I hit the justify. I hit the justify, but am I not justify? No. Wait, I'm justifying that I immediately lose the justification. Justify. It just keeps on disappearing. What? Is that an effect because of the civil war? It's probably an effect because of the civil war. Vulpe's legion took it. Okay, wait, does that mean that they're the only one left? Are they, is Vulpe's legion the winner? the civil war is still at war with white lake okay wait, wait 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 can i can i can i do this last part my fist alone no vulpe's legion does not exist okay well can i justify on you all right looks like this one will actually work okay okay brother of the vulpe's i think it's time for you to die you don't wear a lucha mask you wear a hat and that's not the same go go my lucha brothers the sun cannot affect us because we're wearing a mask that protects our eyes i feel like at this point with the amount of voices i've been making that's probably just annoying for people at this point vulpe's legion gone all right all right that's all of it go ahead 
and submit demands, confirm, and boom, baby, the Free Fighters. The Free Fighters take all in the final Lucha match. Wait, ooh, so that means in the end, why can I not do this? One of the following must be true. El Santo's the current leader. Legion of Hades does not exist in a faction with at least two members. Wait, well, does Legion of Hades still exist? No, wait, it said be in a faction with at least two members. So if I release a nation, just as like a subject or something, like Tucson, release as a puppet, they're in our faction, right? And maybe the reservation release as a puppet too. All right, that means we got two people in our faction. Wait, what is this? Reservation is a side. Oh my God. When you play as the free fighters, you get a sidekick. They're not puppets. It's a sidekick. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. I love the little details that go into this mod. I love the little details of the mod. Okay, now can we do this? Yes, we can. Every good fight has to end by fists alone. Honestly, this, this is amazing. This is the ending for it all. We're treating a wounded luchador. We're even treating wounded legionnaires. Il Mascaris and the Blue Demon are still chasing away remnants of the Bull's army that flee to the north, but it doesn't matter. Treating all the wounded was the choice that the original El Santo would have made. Reaching into his pocket, he withdraws a small crucifix. Bringing it to his lips, he mutters a small prayer. A prayer for those who have died, for those injured, and those who are now safe from the Legion's grasp. They will never be slaves again, as all will be protected by the Luchadors. We are now the Holy Sonora Federation. That is so beautiful. That is such a cool flag, dude. That is amazing. And there's no more to the focus tree that's done. Yeah, we could do eat the Sun Eater calls, but it doesn't matter because we already did the stuff with the bull. It's it's over. That, that was fun. That was incredibly fun. I actually liked this more than any of the other games that I have done in Fallout so far for like Old World Blues. That was so cool. Everyone, this has been Stakui with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Thank you very much for watching. As I said earlier in the video, please like, comment, and subscribe and if this video can get let's say 6,000 likes within the first couple days I will do another old world blues and I'll put out a poll on my page to determine what nation we will play next also don't forget to join discord down in the description below I play games with all of my server members every single week but besides that I hope you have a good rest of your day thanks guys and goodbye